Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. A common result of drug addiction is often jail. Most inmates don't believe in themselves. However, there are some who do. Allow me to introduce to you 14-year-old Alexis Hall, who is at the Pike County Jail today writing letters of encouragement to the inmates. Hi, I'm Alexis. I'm 14 years old. I have big plans for my life. You can too if you just believe. I have been working hard. I know you have too. Please, please promise and believe in yourself. I have did. I will pray and believe in you. You have a big heart. Make good choices. Be who you are, not someone you're not supposed to. Show your true colors and believe. Show that you care. Your family and friends are waiting for you. Make a change in your life right now. I no, you can. You work hard, believe, and you will see. There's a life waiting for you. Fight for it. I made a change, and so can you. Children of drug addicts often become resentful and follow the same path as their parents. However, sometimes it has the opposite effect. It gives the child the strength and the perseverance to do better and to help others. I kind of wanted to make a change because my mom and dad was addicted to drugs. It affected me really bad because then I knew I was going to get taken away. I got taken away more than once, but they had they had been addicted so much that they started shaking, aching. They went to jail so much. I decided to write these because most inmates don't have enough courage. Most of their families don't come and see them. But I believe that if I had wrote something, they would work hard and make through their lives. I hope some of these inmates will realize that they're not a piece of trash, that they're more than just a person, that they're supposed to be loved, and that they're, both, they're believed in, and that they're loved. If you would like to send encouraging letters to the inmates, simply write to Letters of Hope, 172 Division Street, Pikeville, 41501. Reporting from Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.